Oh, we always knew Minnesota State Fair foods were popular, but with no traditional get together this year, fairgoers are hungry for the next best thing. Bill Hudson explains how food parade tickets exceeded all expectations. From deep fried to something on a stick, the Minnesota State Fair had it. So when pandemic brought cancellation, food junkies were in a quandary. Well, my God, this is the State Fair. I mean, we want to come to the State Fair. I mean, I do. I want everybody to come to the State Fair. Everybody does. Instead, folks like Shannon Carson hope for second best, a 13-day drive-through food parade featuring 16 popular vendors. It's just a special tradition for us. That's why Allison Steinke was online early this morning hoping to score food parade tickets. It took my sister, my dad, and myself all working together to refresh that page and work with a couple different browsers. Ultimately, 22 minutes into our process, I was the one who came through with the tickets in my shopping carts. Others weren't so lucky. Shortly after the ticketing site went live, folks took to social media voicing frustration Frustrations. The State Fair tweeted it was experiencing extremely high volumes and urged patience. Oh my God, I'm glad I told them to keep on trying. In two and a half hours, all 19,000 vehicle tickets were sold out. In no time, some were already being scalped for five times face value. For recent breast cancer survivor Allison, it's going to be a special way to celebrate. We love it. I mean, everything about it. It brings the state together and it's a place where you can eat as much as you want and not feel guilty about it. It's the one thing that hasn't changed. Bill Hudson, WCCO 4 News. The fair said capacity is limited for safety reasons and regrets it cannot accommodate more fans. Sorry about that. Here are the dates. It's going to be the Thursday through uh, Sunday over three weekends. The last weekend coming up will uh, be through the Labor Day weekend.